Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog speakindo.life and our YouTube Speak Indo channel. Season 4, Episode A13 Which Foot First? Satu hari di tahun 90-an, teman saya mengajak saya untuk pergi ke tempat yang tidak terlalu jauh dari sekolah, tapi harus naik bis kota lokal Jakarta karena terlalu jauh kalau berjalan kaki. Kami pergi berenam, dan dua dari kami ada yang belum pernah naik bis kota. Jadi sebelumnya kami dikasih tahu dulu bahwa ada teknik penting yang harus diketahui. Kalau naik, harus kaki kanan dulu. Kalau turun, harus kaki kiri dulu. Karena biasanya bis itu tidak akan berhenti di halte dan tidak berhenti total untuk menurunkan dan menaikkan penumpang. Kalaupun berhenti, biasanya tidak akan lama dan ada kemungkinan kita harus sambil berlari kecil untuk naik dan turun. Jadi kaki mana duluan yang berpijak menentukan momentum dan badan kita yang menyesuaikan arah pergerakan bisnya. Tujuannya untuk menghindar keserimpet kaki kita sendiri saat naik maupun turun. Indonesia mempunyai sisi supir di sisi kanan, maka masuk keluar penumpang dari kiri dan zaman itu pintunya tidak pernah ditutup. Sekarang ini tidak ada lagi bis seperti itu. Semua bis kota di Jakarta sudah berhenti di halte dan pintu pun tertutup saat kendaraan berjalan. Kami berdua sebagai pemula akhirnya berhasil naik dan turun tanpa terjatuh. Berkat teman-teman kami yang heboh berteriak mengingatkan kanan dulu, kanan dulu waktu kami naik dan kiri dulu, kiri dulu waktu kami turun. The next one will be the English version of the story. One day during the 90s, my friend took me to a place that was not too far away from school. But we needed to take the local Jakarta City bus because it was still too far to get there on foot. There were six of us, and two of us had never gone on the city bus. So prior to that, we were informed that there was an important technique which we needed to know. When you hop on the bus, your right foot needs to go first. When you hop off the bus, your left foot needs to go first. Because usually, the bus will not stop at the bus stop, and it will also not stop completely to let passengers on and off the bus. Even if it did stop, usually it won't be for long and there is always a possibility that we need to jog to get on and off the bus. So which foot should take the first step will determine the momentum and the body's adjustment to the movement of the bus. The goal is to avoid stumbling on your feet when getting on or off the bus. Indonesia has the driver on the right side of the bus, so passengers enter and exit from the left side. And in those days, the bus doors were never closed. Nowadays, the buses are no longer like that. All the buses in Jakarta stop at bus stops and their doors are closed when the vehicles are moving. Both of us amateurs finally managed to get on and off the bus without falling down. This is all thanks to our friends who noisily shouted to remind us, right first, right first, when we were getting on, and left first, left first, when we were getting off the bus. We are in the midst of repeating history, where greed and power dividing and manipulating the world through war of hunger, illness, and fear. It's not about taking sides, it's not about beating the enemies, but it might be about unlocking wisdom and beating the brute in our soul. Probably one day when we look back, 
We will learn how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. We'd like to thank the people who have supported our program, especially our guest speakers, for sharing their true stories.